In ES5, we used the plus operator to concatenate a string to a dynamic value, like a variable. But, modern JavaScript makes this process a lot easier by allowing us to embed the variable in the string. To do that, we use string interpolation inside a template literal. A template literal is defined by wrapping a string with a pair of backticks. The backtick is the key above the tab on a standard US layout keyboard. String interpolation is defined inside the template literal with a dollar sign followed by a pair of open and close curly braces. Inside the braces, we add the variable we want to embed. If we take a look in the console, it shows the message like it did before. To confirm that it works, let's change the name to something else. JavaScript allows us to use simple expressions inside string interpolation. For example, we can define two number variables, then add them together inside the curly braces. The expression can also be a return value from a function. For example, let's define a function with the two numbers as parameters, then return the sum. Another nice feature about template literals is that we can write multi-line strings without having to use escape characters. For example, let's say we want to have the two words in our string on separate lines. In ES5, we would have to use backslash and n where we want the line to break. When we use a template literal though, we can just write the string in our code as we want it to appear. We can also parse template literals with functions. As an example, let's say we have a function with three parameters. Message, first name, and last name. Now, let's call the function with a template literal instead of a parameter list. When we do that, the string becomes the first argument. Then, we can add a tag with string interpolation that becomes the second argument. If we need to, we can continue the string and then add another string interpolation for the third argument in the function. If we save the file and take a look at the console, we can see that the string was split up into an array. So, the string becomes the first argument. The first interpolation becomes the second argument. And the second interpolation becomes the third argument. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to use the new let and const keywords to define variables and constants. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.